Good morning, everybody, from the Polynesian Resort. My name is Nick G, and I figured today would be a slightly different vlog. Um, I'm the only one up. Well, it's a lie. I got up this morning, did the uh, book the Genie Plus for everything, um, for the whole family. Justin, Mackenzie, Harper, Hudson, they're all here. They officially landed yesterday. They're staying at the Riviera. And I thought, today we're gonna be just enjoying a day in the park. Um, the Magic Kingdom, to be exact. Right here, right here. Space Mountain, Tron, the castle, everything. We're gonna be over there today. So I thought maybe I would just walk around the resort this morning and show you guys the Polynesian. This may not be a kind of vlog you're used to, but it's a nice morning for it. And um, I'm gonna wanna just enjoy the day in the park with everybody without having to film uh, all day because we're here. We're here for still like about another week. So it's gonna be a lot of footage if I decided to really film every single day. Um, let me take you guys with me. So right away I can tell you that like this is just, I love this view. There's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing better to me than waking up and seeing this. Um, now you may notice that noise. Uh, if you go over here, you can see we are actually, the Polynesian Resort is very spread out, the whole village. Um, but over here you can see all of the park guests uh, boarding the ferry. Um, so, as I had mentioned before in previous videos, I mean, this is the transportation and ticket center all over here, which means that there is monorail access and boat access uh, to the Polynesian Resort. Ah, that's the Polynesian. To the Magic Kingdom. <clears throat> we'll come on down here. I'll show you a bit. Show you a bit of stuff last night. Uh, we went to Epcot, and actually, at the Transportation and Ticket Center, there's a separate monorail that can take you to Epcot. So that's what we were doing yesterday. Um, you go like you're going to go to the Magic Kingdom, and you just don't. And I love the fact that we have a nice little, nice little beach. Look at all those park guests. See, when I was little, I always looked over at these Polynesian resorts any time that we would not be staying on Disney property. And I would always wish that I was over there. I would always wish that I was staying at these, at these uh, Disney resorts, because these were, you know, the Disney resorts. We always used to stay at the Sheraton, the Santa Villages on International Drive, and which is a beautiful resort if you're not staying at Disney, but something different about staying here. And these are all the DVC bungalows, which are a uh, stupid amount per night but they're they're gorgeous <laughs> for good reason um but you can stay on those as well so you can kind of see down there they're doing some gardening and that sort of stuff these just i'm just walking along the beach right now it's just it's just so incredibly pleasant maybe you got time to kill anyway before we get over to the park so my dad's looking at the back of his eyelids my mom is showering, getting all ready. I love the theming of the Polynesian. Just, I, I, I love the theming so much. <laughs> it's like Hawaii. Have you been? So the last time that we stayed here, we stayed in, I want to say that room, because we were looking directly across this bamboo, and it was, uh, Forgot then, I forgot which hurricane. The last, it was the hurricane that came through in November. Um, and we were staying in that room. And I know, cause over the top, if you're on the second floor, you could see through to the park. And it's that bamboo tree. Um, and we were looking up and the morning after the hurricane, when there were still, still some rain showers and all that, uh, there was a, really 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 big owl of all things an owl in the morning that flew up and landed on it and you could just see it just turning its head every which way and it was it was kind of neat so so there's your little story i thought it was a good one so in a minute i'll be cutting to 
uh, the main house. Now all these different, all these different buildings all have their own name. Uh, actually, what a time to find a map. So we live in, we live in, we're staying in Moria. Last time we stayed in Tokelo. Um, as you can see, there's all these different buildings here. Up here, we got the pools. We got the water launch that goes to Magic Kingdom. There's also a monorail that takes us to Magic Kingdom in the ceremonial house, which is the lobby. But great ceremonial house sounds a lot nicer, <laughs> a lot more attractive. I don't know how I would feel staying in the bottom there because I feel like you wouldn't really have much privacy. Now we stayed on the first floor the other day um, for just a day and it was on, actually no, it was second floor. You know what, I take that back. I retract my statement. The great ceremonial house is to the right. Now out there is uh, bus stops. If you wanted to go ahead and take them to the parks too. I don't think that Magic Kingdom has a bus that runs here. Maybe it does, but they've already got the boat and the monorail. I don't believe so. Out here is a pool area. We got a bar, everything. So before we go to the ceremonial house, which you can always tell by the large markers there in the era, I'll kind of film a little bit of this, uh, not too much of this pool because I don't really want to film people swimming, but you can sort of see through here. It's a pretty, it's a pretty little pool. Um, the bar is over in this area. It's a small pool. It's it's kind of like the quiet pool for. Uh, it's definitely the quiet pool of the two. So it's it's nice and relaxing to go to. Now, if you come out here, this is the back of the ceremonial house, and you can see there's there's a couple restaurants up in the second floor, um, Kona Cafe and such, I can't remember, Ohana, Ohana. And they're known for their Tonga toast, which is like a specially made French toast with uh, bananas and all that. And it's the Tonga toast. I've never had the Tonga toast and now you can purchase it at Captain Cook's, which is on the bottom here, which is kind of like the quick service walk up uh, restaurant. And over here is the lava pool. So this is the big one. So this is the big pool for everybody. The, uh, the lava pool, the play area over there, the splash area, the waterfalls. I'm pretty sure there's a water slide on the other side of it. Um, this is only a portion of the pool. The pool stretches around, I think, to a point, does it not? Maybe it doesn't, maybe I'm wrong. Oh wait, no, I can see there's the bottom of the slide right there. Maybe it is just there. Because on the other side, then you have the docks and you have um, the spots where if you did the fishing, uh, guided fishing tours, you can leave off in your boats there. You can get the Magic Kingdom off in the distance over there. Oh, and then over here is the Polynesian Tower that they're constructing. You got all this artificial turf here. Now, when we came here during the hurricane, all this artificial turf was just, it was completely flooded. It's just wild. Now, Captain Cook's is where I'll be headed um, for some bakery items and all that. Let's go ahead and just show you the lobby here quickly. Ah, I almost forgot. Over here is the weakness spot for me because I'll zoom in here. The Dole Whip, if you've never had Dole Whip before, it's Essentially, it's like a Disney, Disney exclusive sort of thing. It's basically a uh, pineapple soft serve Dole Whip, and it, they blend it with uh, they blend it with vanilla and all that. You can get a Dole Float, and then they put uh, a Dole Float, and then they put uh, pineapple juice and everything underneath it in the cup. And it's just it's like the most refreshing thing that you would ever ever think of if you've never had it. They do sell them in grocery stores now. I saw you can get pineapple dole, but it's not the same. Okay, so this is the back. Well, we came in through the back. There's the front up there of the lobby. We're kind of doing things in reverse since we're already staying here. Yeah. 
I'll take you out to the front entrance as well because that's beautiful how they have everything laid out up here. Up above is the monorail. You can take to Magic Kingdom. And it's just just the the theming, the, the setting, just everything that they have here. It's just set up so nicely. It's just, it's an awesome resort. Honestly, it's in my top five at this point for resorts. There's the monorail you can see pulling up to pick people up from Magic Kingdom. So I'll show you kind of walking in from the front here. So over there, we got the gift shop, essentially. Um, you can also get, you know, all your daily stuff, like your, your food, your food, your drinks, your medicines. And this is the signature statue here. I forgot what the name of the statue is. I think all these flowers are real, which is pretty wild. Oh, get it? Pretty wild. I'll take you upstairs now. So up here, we've got some more food and drinks and all that. Alcohol, if you want it for your room. And this is looking down here on the second floor. So out there is towards the monorail. And over here in the corner is a nice little coffee bar. And uh, Kona Cafe is right across. And then over here, this whole area is kind of checked off. It's the waiting area to get into Ohana over there. Uh, everybody's all lining up to get their Tonga toast because that's where they make it nice and fresh. Let's see, where does this go? You know what? This does take you to the transport. Oh, this does have connection to Epcot. So yesterday we walked out to the front and to the front of Magic Kingdom. Didn't realize that this also has connection to Epcot. This probably would have been a little bit easier, but but it is okay. We're gonna be back to Epcot so we can learn from our mistakes. I'm gonna get a coffee. I am. Oh my God! They have bacon, egg, and cheddar croissant sandwiches here, <laughs> and muffins at a Kona Mocha muffin. I'm definitely gonna be getting some food here uh, for the for the room regardless. They have a cranberry scone that actually looks delicious. Oh, that didn't sound good. So this is Captain Cook's in here and they've got plenty of food. Um, they got plenty of food, they got like pork sandwiches, they got burgers, they got uh, flatbreads in the morning, which I'm definitely gonna come back later this week and go get a breakfast flatbread. Um, they got ice creams, they got everything you could want. And in here is Trader Sam's Grog Grotto, which, hello, which this is kind of like the secret sort of entrance to it. Well, that's the only entrance to it. Um, and yeah, you're only, let's see, only guest 21 years of age and older, admitted after 8 p.m. And this is something where it doesn't open until 3 p.m. And usually there's a line of people never been inside um it's pretty hard to get into it's just kind of first come first serve but i heard that it looks absolutely amazing and from from the different uh pictures and videos that i've seen i mean it's awesome inside there uh trader sam is a nod to trader sam a character from the jungle cruise attraction in disney world uh in disney world we're here in disney world in the magic kingdom I've never even been out this way. I've never even been out this way. This is a nice, this is a pretty waterfall. Now Trader Sam's Grotto is inside here. Uh, as you can see, they don't really let you, they don't really let you go in there. Um, they don't really have you look inside that often at all, really. Actually, yeah, no, they don't at all. But it looks like out here you can go in Trader Sam's Tiki Terrace. And they have all these different nice drinks. The zombie I heard was delicious. The Polynesian Punch, the Schweitzer Falls. Honestly, they all sound, they all sound really, really, really good. The Tiki 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 Rum, that's good. That's pretty good. It's all nods to uh, uh, Adventureland attractions in Magic Kingdom, which is kind of cool. I like it. Um, perhaps we'll come out here at some other point this week. I'd like to try to. Um, just for a couple of drinks, you can sit on the water. A lot of people, what they like to do is, if you can book a hotel reser 
you can book a reservation up there in Ohana. You can see all those windows. You can look over across the lake, across Bay Lake, and watch the fireworks for Magic Kingdom. It's just, Polynesian is full of a lot of things to do. It's full of a lot of, a lot of really, a lot of really pretty sights, really. I'll take you out here at the dock. So this is the dock out here. This is a nice, really, really nice walk too in the morning. This is, again, this is my favorite thing about getting up early, is just being able to walk around the resort and enjoy the weather. But to be able to walk around, enjoy the weather, enjoy the sights. The Grand Floridian is over there with the red roof. Oh, and I did get a blueberry muffin, uh, egg and cheese thing, and then a uh, caramel macchiato, which, to tell you the truth, there's so many fancy coffees on that menu, I have no idea what to get. And that was the thing that sounded most familiar to me. <laughs> and I know I actually like it. So having a little sugar rush in the morning, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Oof, but I gotta put my bag down. And then out here, last but not least, this is what we'll be taking here in, gosh, I don't know, maybe about a half hour or so. I'm gonna have to get back to the, get back to the room because we're gonna go off to Magic Kingdom. Uh, you can see that's a little boat pulling up now. Uh, we at least get our own little private boat launch. Um, it does stop at Grand Floridian too, but then it's just right across. So it's a very incredibly convenient thing. Usually the boats are maybe five to 10 minutes apart. So they're pretty, they're pretty quick. They're pretty efficient and uh, it's gorgeous. Just gorgeous here. I personally love this resort. It's up in the top for me now officially with boardwalk, the flirt, uh, boardwalk. Wilderness Lodge, um, Coronado Springs, I gotta say, Coronado Springs was pretty impressive too, but I think that this is in my top three with Boardwalk and Wilderness. I'm gonna be bold and say it. So anyways, I'm gonna be off. I gotta go. I gotta go eat this, drink this, and um, I'm gonna be off to Magic Kingdom. Have a great day with, with the whole family. So thank you all, everybody, very much for watching, and um, I'll be vlogging again. Thank you everybody for watching.